Hello, Cancer. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It is time for your mid-May to June reading of this current year. We're going to read for y'all. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. East, East. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. After all, it's just a card game. I was not expecting words. Okay. I just want to wait for the base to drop. But, yeah. Let's get on with you. Um, if you want a personal reading or whatever, just hit up my email below. I don't usually charge, but I take donations and chips and chips. The chips would be good, but tips, I was going to say. With my um, PayPal, it's in the description as well. Let us begin. Um, someone might be feeling just a tad bit impatient, or their ability to come together is just out of whack. It's like they're not able to... Um, get on the same frequency as somebody else. Like, they're not being on the same page. There's two people here trying to come together to make this one person or whatever. Or consciousness or some shit. Uh, wants and wishes? Bad judgment call. Ew. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, why do you guys always end up getting shit whenever I read for y'all? I swear. Fears and rejections, the magician, like somebody manifested something, or you could be dealing with an Aries as well. Two of Wands in the situation. Are you going to make a move to the past, or are you going to take a chance to the future? Oh, uh, what's going against you? Is the past coming towards the future? Like, somebody probably from back in the day, that shadow person, might be relatively coming back a different person. Or is something in the past... That you're taking towards the future. Like a reference. I think I said some, with somebody. Um, the catalyst as well as the final result. Nine of cups. You got what you wished for. And now you're fucking bored with it. Yay. Yeah. Like she's not smiling as much as. Um, she was when she first got it. Like she was totally happy with it when she first got this. Which mind you. Um. This wish came from her manifestation with the star man, right? But now it's, like, boring her. Now it just gets on her nerves. Now it's just like, ah, I'm tired of this wish existing, you know? Uh, we got the Indian Reverse Virgo's card. This is also the Hermit in the beginning theme, right? Like, meme review. It made me happy. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Temperance reverse. Someone's losing patience. They might be having an issue with their moral compass as well. Maybe they don't know what the right thing to do is, but they feel like they just can't come together with somebody. Could be a Sagittarius also throwing a fit. So we'll go with that, right? Um, impatient enough to go in and start a fight. That's really what they're feeling like right now. It's either you, Cancer, or it's somebody else. That's a lot of... Wow. What the fuck is that about? What are you going in the fight for? Now, that makes no sense. Like, the Hermit, like, I feel like you're coming out of isolation a little bit, or you're going deeper into that cave because you haven't found your light yet. I don't know. But, like... Why are you all fiery in full words? You guys, like, go around shit all the time. Which, personally, as a Capricorn, I find annoying. Just be direct. But that's just me. <clears throat> that's what people don't like me for. Um, situation. Two of Wands. You're looking towards the past more than the future about your decision. And you could be standing sure in that. Because... You want your identity. Yay. Mmm. Oh dear, Cancer. Okay. 
Okay, listen up, y'all. Because every time I read for you, it seems like there's just something else going on with you that is just full on, like, Jesus, just, the universe hates me, right? And I, like, empathize. But it's like, someone's decided to look at, back at the past, which might be the wrong judgment, that might be the wrong idea, like, bad idea, and now they're still stuck, because this is the beginning and the ending as well. Like, this is what brought a full circle in this situation for the next whatever days until, like, April 1st? No, June 1st? June 1st, right? Where Oh Hey babe. Okay, so let us continue cancer. Okay. So yeah, it seems like you're looking back at the past. Something to do with like identity or who you are. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. Right? So there is some sort of this choice or path you want to take, but it has something to do with your identity or who you are. It's like, almost like, almost like this is all you see, this image of you, how you're, you're brave, you're awesome, you're all this stuff. Like, you're taking a path that's leading you to that kind of almost recognition, like the trophy wife status kind of card, right? But you you really know a lot more about yourself than what you're dealing with. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm not taking these, but um mm. What you're wanting is a judgment call, but your judgment call I think is like Fucked. I think your judgment call is saying, like, whatever you've decided is going to leave you bound in some sort of situation that was a bad judgment call to begin with. Like, your, your choices are leading you to worse choices, pretty much. Or some sort of choice that you're making are, is still the wrong choice. But I'm, I'm not taking those three. Like, that just showed up. But it was like, ah. Funky. And if this isn't you, Cancer, or a person you're dealing with, they, they have a hard time, I think, choosing whatever doesn't serve them. Hmm. You guys are always so interesting. Like, there's some sort of trauma about what made you happy or what was in your happiness in life. Now you're bent on the this really awkward choice right here. Oh, actually, there are four cards. Not that choice. This choice. But it's still, like, together. Like, I don't know what that was. Someone was saying some shit. I need to get rid of all those. I hate notifications. But yeah, okay, so Cancer, this card was behind this one. Like, keeping your guard up and not offering anything. Or coming up like you give a shit. But you really don't. Alright, it could be a Pisces or a can or a Scorpio you're dealing with. I have an itch. Okay. Ah, that's difficult. I just want one card for judgment though. I always get uncomfortable in your guys' readings, so I don't know why. Like, seriously, it feels like there's a pinch. It's annoying. But, we shall go on, because I'm going to ignore it now. Anyway, yeah, bad judgment call. Something was... Something is just... It's like you're... It's like somebody here, whoever this is, is too worried about what they look like. Like, they always choose the path that makes them look the best. What the fuck was yours about last time, Cancer? I can't even remember. Oh! The bad judgment call is running the fuck away. Just running off. Just taking off. Um, 
action adventure leo sagittarius aries that is the bad judgment call just running away from it okay so instead of confronting any of this you're just kind of running away which makes no sense like you're sitting there gearing for a fight but you're taking the action of flight okay the obstacle as well as the challenge that is coming against you is that there's something from the past that's being brought back as reference to the future um possibly a queen of swords libra gemini aquarius but she is um very decisive in who she cuts or whatever very grounded with her decision making like <clears throat> she's got reasons that's all you need to fucking know who cares if she's crying and has blood dripping from her sword? It's like trying to reach out to this person. Like, was somebody not expecting someone to run away? <laughs> what? Huh. Like, this person's right here waiting for a fight, and here's this person, like, taking it the other way, like, vroom, right? Um, the star man, manifestation, someone's afraid that something came true, or is rejecting something that came true. Five of cups right here. Someone had a flower and got scolded by somebody who was upset that their cups got knocked over, because the person wasn't careful, it was the last of their brew, you know? They knew that the person still loved them. They were just getting scolded for a minute, I guess. Nine of Cups reversed. Someone got what they wished for and are not satisfied with that wish anymore. This is, like, kind of weird. And it feels kind of sad. But whoever this person is who's just, like, worried more about their image, like, their ego, I guess, with the Nine of Pentacles, because, like, it's just, like, they glow. Like, I feel like that's important that they glow. I don't know why, but it's, like, they glow with whatever it is that makes them who they are, but it's, like... waiting for something with the knight of swords up here too i don't know oh you got left emotionally confused with the nine of cups reversed by the seven of cups reversed you put all your energy into like all this shit and none of it fulfilled what you wanted it to fulfill what happened huh ending theme with the Hi the Hermit Reverse. There are three cards that came out suddenly. I feel like somebody broke away from a third party situation in order to be happy. I feel like that's what happened. Someone's coming to kind of come out of this introspection because of this. Someone didn't take a leap forward into it. They just took off another way to their happiness. Or they were too busy. Or this could be the other person. In, the person in red. Who should have been in bed. But instead was out partying. Instead of being with the people he had most. It's like this lack of head. It was like a lot of hesitation. <clears throat> but someone basically ran away from a third party. To get their happiness. Maybe that's why they're running away with the Knight of Wands. You might be leaving somebody in the dust, Cancer. You know, your image is that important to you. I can understand, but it's like, I don't know if this is you or not. Because it's like, there's no, like there's hardly any emotion in here whatsoever. Whatever emotion is, is just messed up. You realize you got what you wished for. Wow. You come out of your introspection to realize you want... You, there was a wish that was made. Yeah, every time I fucking talk to you, Cancer, it's like I tell you guys, be careful what you wish for. 
or some shit, and I don't understand it. Like, there's something like, like you called in. If this is like wish fulfillment, so it's like it was completely done. It was over. It happened. And now you're coming out of introspection. So whatever happened, happened. But it's like, you're still not happy with it. And now you're just left, like, this wasn't even the right thing I wanted to happen? Something didn't go your way? Because, like, somebody here definitely was looking for an argument, a battle, and a fight. And someone just took off the other way. Um, now you're, and there's somebody looking at options, Right? And the most prominent option, the one she's looking at, is the same direction as the Knight of Swords. So, she, that was kind of the direction someone was taking, kind of like, you know, almost symbolic. They're almost like holding the same positions, marrying each other, if you look at it. Like, she's got her hand up, he's got his sword up, she's holding this pentacle, he's holding the reins. But he's holding the reins back, waiting for somebody to come to them. And it's almost like that was the option that was taken, but the real option should have been here, looking back in hindsight, since she's looking at the past. As is the Knight of Swords. And here, yeah, someone's definitely impulsively, possibly taking off, traveling. In this direction, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries could be this fire sign up here. Someone's being impulsive with it, and then like Ace of Swords. Someone is holding the truth, wrapping their mind around it. I really feel like someone was just expecting to scold somebody like they're their mother. But whatever it is they wish for just didn't... It didn't work. The way, like... It's like they're traveling to try to get the truth or something. I don't know, Cancers. Like, I'm kind of confused. Maybe you could tell me more about it. I don't know. But that's your reading. Um... I feel like the situation of who looks the best, though, is really bad. Because that's definitely ego. <clears throat> You know, if you have a problem with somebody and you're worried about how you look about it, maybe you shouldn't have a problem. But, you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.